Good morning. My name is Claire Dill. And I'm Anna And we're here to talk to you about privacy, or the lack thereof. Well, if you were being followed around by cameras your entire life, how would it affect you? If you were constantly being followed around by cameras, would you be more conscious of your daily actions or more cautious of your habits? Would you be more careful with what you say or what you do? Would you put more effort into your appearance? Every day, the average person is seen on a security camera around 300 times. And if I had to guess, I'd be looking pretty rough those 300 times. For years now, the U.S. government program called the NSA has been collecting data of the US, uh, for the U.S. citizens all around the world. Data is collected annually from hundreds of millions of people all around the world. And this, we don't know what this data is being put towards. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the majority of you here have heard of incognito mode or the privacy setting on your web browser. If you haven't, it's um, a setting that you can flip it to and it's advertised as this like private browser that doesn't keep track of like what you're searching. So um, if you want to look up something a little weird, maybe you don't want everyone knowing what you're searching, a little sketchy, uh, you can go on that browsing mode. But it's not as private as they advertise it as. Um, the government can still keep track of what you're searching and you're still going to get ads for whatever you're searching on that move. And as Claire was saying, um, there's millions of different platforms that they're collecting this information from. So it starts to raise the question, what is this data being used for? So the NSA is actually claiming that it's being used for our own good and for our own protection. However, there's no proof whatsoever of crime rates lowering from the technological surveillance that has skyrocketed recently. As I was saying, communication platforms are constantly being monitored, such as social media, phone records, internet searches. Now, in George Orwell's 1984, this common theme is reoccurring. Just like in 1984, Big Brother is an authoritative figure that is constantly watching the US, or the citizens and is manipulating their mindsets to believe in what they're supposed to. If they go off the status quo and they're supposed to, and they do something that they're not supposed to, they can be killed. And in 1984, Winston is the main character, he's the protagonist, and he's not killed, but the man that we knew as Winston before that was killed. His entire personality was destroyed and manipulated to believe what Big Brother is making him out to be. So it started off as a simple safety procedure or just a regulation for the NSA has escalated and continues to escalate daily with the amount of information that they're collecting from us and it's violating our constitutional rights. Um, the government is abusing their authoritative powers and violating our rights as citizens. The government is here trying to push ideas on us and sell us something that we're trying to buy. Through social media, such as Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, they're telling us things that may not be true. Just like in the previous talk you heard, Anna Lanche, Annabelle Pavi, and Darby Delcom were telling you about how our minds can be changed by just the popular opinion, and that's not always okay. So, are we going to buy everything that they're trying to tell us? Um, so the source raises the question, is the world that we live in actually authentic? We're constantly um, involved in technology. The world we're surrounded in is technology-based. So technology is catered to each of us individually. Um, if I'm a student, most of us are students, so Quizlet, uh, you'll notice on the side when you're trying to study, there's ads on the side. And it's something that you've like recently searched for, and they're trying to sell you something constantly. Like if you're looking for your homecoming dress or your prom dress, it's going to be on the side. So um, the government is constantly trying to sell us something, and they're individually like targeting each and every one of us and trying to push things towards us. The point of this talk is not to scare you, but to inform you. A lot of us put all of our trust into the government because its job is to protect us. However, most of us don't think to ask questions on what's going on behind the scenes. Remember that Big Brother is always watching. Thank you for coming to our talk.